Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app demo for Downloads Pro by Sensible Code. This application is in the utilities category, is iOS universal, means it works on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, and currently sells for $1.99. There's also a free version you can download and check out before purchasing the full version. This feature-rich download file manager allows you to download PDFs, photos, videos, music, and features a robust web browser, slick PDF viewer, as well as a media player that can play AVI, WMV, FLV, XVID, and RMVB video file formats. Here we are at Gemendo, one of the websites that you can download free, royalty-free music. Now you can see this browser is on the far left bottom, and it works a lot like mobile Safari. I can tap here on the box and box, and you can see the different pages I have open. Go ahead and tap back to where I was. If I want to open a new page, I simply tap new page and I can go to my bookmarks here and I can go ahead and add a website. I'll put American Pie. It's a video from Meta Cafe. Now we're going to go ahead and tap. I'm not going to download it. We're going to go ahead and tap here and I'm going to head back to Gemendo and I'm going to show you how to download some music using this application. One other feature is this does support a bookmarklet for Safari if you're interested. You also have a box here and you can add a bookmark very easily or save the current page you are on there and you can use the arrows to advance to the next page when you have already been to a page or you're at a page. Tap on music here and I'm going to tap on albums and what it does is going to pull up a variety of little thumbnails of music that is available for free download. I can tap on this one here with the girl's feet and we can go ahead and zoom this out and you're going to have an option to download. You just have to follow the buttons here and you got to keep on tapping on them and eventually you will get to where you can actually download the entire album. And once you get there, you can just hold your finger down. Here we go, download. In this case, it's just going to download it. I tap there. You can name it here. It's going to be an MP3 file. And you can go into your download file manager and actually see that download. That's 73 megabytes. It's an entire album. Here are some other things that I have downloaded. This is the file manager, so we're not going to do anything here. Here's something I know I don't want anymore. Slide across there, and I can delete that. If I wanted to stop this, I could just stop that, but if I want to restart it, tap there, and it'll start downloading again. You can also tap on the plus, and you can actually put in a URL. So if you get a URL in an email, somebody wants you to download something, all you got to do is copy it, paste it in here, and you can actually download that file right away. Or you could hold your finger on that from inside the email, and it'll pop up an opportunity to use Downloads Pro from your email application. Now again, this is the file manager, so we don't want to play anything in here. We can actually go to our files, and on the left, you're going to kind of get an example of what type of a file it is. Down here, I have a Marketing Green building book. Let's see how big this is. No, that's not very big. There's a larger PDF that I have. It's right here, Social Community. We're going to go ahead and open this in this application. This application has a very extensive PDF viewer. This is a 276 page ebook that I downloaded from a free ebook website, social commuting or computing and behavioral modeling. And you can scroll through here, sliding with your fingers, and the media or the photo player works the same way. If you need to zoom out, you can do that. And we can tap there to pull back our navigation. You have a zoom function there, a search function actually, a search document. And you have a page, or you can also view them in grid and go to a page that you want to. So a very nice PDF viewer as well. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the, uh, the, the, the feature, the, the player, the media player. Now, we're going to cancel out of there. We're going to go ahead and tap on this one, and we're just going to open it. And it's going to start playing a Jennifer Lopez song with Pit Bull. It works just like your iPod. You can tap up here. It'll give you the different songs that we have, and we can play those songs. Go back to our files. It keeps on playing. If we leave the application, it's going to keep on playing as well. Tap back in there. And then we're going to tap here to return to the media player. Or to the files, rather. Tap on Jennifer, and you return to the media player. You also can do this through AirPlay, on Apple TV, go to the next song, back up to a song, pause it, volume, nice player, head back here, let's go ahead and turn that off to not be distracted. Very functional media player in the application. You can edit, 
your files in this file area. You can delete them. You can also look at them. Another feature that is very important is you can actually unzip zip files in here. So I have done that and what happens is you'll get this folder. This is the folder it came in, website usability, and then you can tap in here and it gives you Mac OS X, but then here's the actual folder. It was or file which was a PDF. And when I get in there, I can actually view it using the nice PDF viewer again. Pinch in, pinch out to read the pages and so on. Tap back on there and bring back the navigation. And you can search PDFs with a search functionality. Now, over here on the far right, we actually have some other features and settings. Passcode lock, private browsing. You can set your home page. You can choose the search engine you want and you can identify the browser as and you can do some things there Firefox 10 backup on or off if you're going to use backup you can actually download your files to your PC or Mac but this is going to have to be toggled on and you're going to have to tether it to your PC or Mac and go through the file the iTunes file sharing when you're tethered you do that in the app section scroll below the apps and you'll see the applications that you can use in file sharing which this is one of them scroll back here and you can see you can install Safari bookmarklet clear your cookies there's help here you can tap on the help and you'll get some FAQs on why you can't download a YouTube video and some other information in here and you can also go help there you have it. Let's go back to our browser. How is our download doing for an entire album? Not quite halfway there, but that's the way this application works. It's a very functional and uh, very well-made download file manager media plane application. Remember, it also plays a variety of file types that most download managers do not, which I named off in the beginning. That's it for this iPhone app demo. Until next time, Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's app saying see ya.